Did Josh Palmer just have a breakout game? Well, I have the film to look at so we can pull it up and find out. And while I pull up this film, make sure to like and subscribe to the Chargers LAFP YouTube page so you get the best Chargers content on YouTube. And now, let's get into the film room. So this first play that I'm going to show you is interesting. They tried to get Joshua Palmer in open space a lot. Here he is at the top of the screen going to the bottom in motion. And this is a fake handoff to Isaiah Spiller. This edge defender is not supposed to be blocked. That's the way the play is designed. And I'm going to tell you pretty soon why I don't like that. But he's supposed to try to go for this halfback, but he doesn't. He ends up just having a free rushing lane to Justin Herbert. So he has to get that ball off to Joshua Palmer, which is what that play is designed to be anyways, because the only man that Joshua Palmer should have to beat is this linebacker. And he's going to beat him. But Joshua Williams, this Chiefs rookie defender, I can't tell you how impressive this guy has been throughout this season. I've been watching the film and this guy is good. He actually has the discipline to see this and read it and then converge on him on a third down and not allow the first down. That is, it's just a great defensive play. Joshua Palmer should have had a ton of yardage because if this guy goes with Trey McKitty's deep route right here, Oh my goodness. You can see he's going to be blocked by Trey. DeAndre Carter is going to get the block on the safety. Even if he doesn't, Josh Palmer has all this open turf to work with. And then if he decides not to do that and just stick with Joshua Palmer on this under route like he did on the play, then you can see this edge defender. If he does get blocked by uh, Trey Pipkins right here, Justin Herbert has the time to make a read and see what he is doing, decide to go for Josh Palmer or a wide open Trey McKitty. That would be the perfect play. Instead, it's just about four yards to Joshua Palmer. He gets as much as he can out of it. This one again, you're just trying to get Joshua Palmer in space. I don't like them doing that a ton. Bubble screen right here. He's going to catch that thing with one hand. Beautiful catch. He's probably got sticky gloves on, but he runs to the outside. That's Joshua Williams again. The guy who's very impressive gets tackled by him. Psych hand in the dirt. And then you plant go upfield for about three or four more yards. Really good balance on display. Check this out from the end zone view right here. You can see how tough it is to stay up after this man tries to tackle you like that. Hands around your waist. He's got those good hip flexor muscles. Goes, plants that foot, and then gets that hand in the dirt. Goes to the inside, gets a few more yards on that play. Talk about using the centripetal force that Joshua Williams gives you on this play right here. If you don't know what that is, it's like a slingshot. When someone pulls you back and then boom, you go and get three or four more yards. Joshua Palmer absolutely using it he didn't just have a great game receiving he had a really good game blocking too joshua palmer bottom of the screen check out it's gonna go to deandre carter right behind him you can see stone smart gets that block on that defender and then joshua palmer against joshua williams that rookie who i told you was impressive just gets blown up at the point of contact but he keeps his composure stays disciplined and anchors himself and keeps those hips pointed to the outside uh, sideline so that that cornerback is forced to the outside and DeAndre Carter can run right through between both of those two defenders, between these two blocks, and just gets uh, probably six or seven yards. I don't like when they run these little quick passes like this. I want them to do deeper developing routes because it, it just is not good for this offense, I think. But you know what is good for this offense? Plays designed like this. This is going to be Joshua Palmer just going to go deep down the field like right here. And then on the top of the screen, it's going to be deep over the middle. DeAndre Carter is already in motion. We had that pre-snap motion. The play is going to be snapped right here. And it's going to be a fake handoff to Austin Eckler. Trey McKitty is now in motion going to the right side. So there is so much going on. Both of these safeties had their eyes stuck in that backfield because how could you not? There's so much going on in that play pre-snap and post-snap. And you can see Juan Thornhill now has his back to Joshua Palmer. Justin Herbert sees it, makes that throw. Perfect read, immediately gets that thing off. Oh my goodness, check how fast that ball gets to him. The ball is actually not thrown perfectly. You can see he kind of has to stop for it a bit and it even just hits him in the chest as he's now backpedaling into the end zone though. It's still a touchdown because of just how great of a play design that was. And also check out the route by Joshua Palmer. He is so fast right here. Check him out, runs right through that guy and then just cut to the outside. Really a fast receiver. I don't think he gets enough credit for how speedy he is. Check out the short area quickness that Joshua Palmer has on this route. Fake it like you're going to break to the outside and then you cut right in. 
Joshua Williams didn't even have enough time to react. And boom, he's got a step on him. Look at him wide open. This guy is trailing on this play. Justin Herbert rolling out to his right. This should be big yardage right here. You got to throw it right now, Justin. Instead, he doesn't like what he sees for some reason. I think it's because this guy is in the passing lane a little more than we can see from this broadcast kind of view. But he ends up throwing it late. It is a first down to Joshua Palmer. You just got to throw that sooner, I think. And it would be... Much more yardage. Yeah, you can see Juan Thornhill is bit in that passing lane. Justin Herbert waits until the very end to throw this freaking ball. Right on the money, though, to Joshua Palmer. He gets those feet in, and it's a first down. Check out, this is going to be that same move. Joshua Palmer at the top of the screen against Legereus Sneed this time. Probably their best uh, cornerback. He's going to do that plant to the right, and then boom, launch yourself, go to the inside. He's got a ton of space on him. Justin Herbert recognize it. Right here is when he unleashes this thing and check out the placement. It's pretty good right there. You can see Joshua Palmer just barely gets one hand on it. Really good coverage by Legereus Sneed to get back in that play and just can't come down with it. He actually ends up hurting himself on that play. As you can see, he's grabbing for the forearm. He did come back, but just appreciate that route, that short area quickness. Look at it in real speed. Boom. You would go to the outside too. I know you would. He would have beat you on that route. Here we are again, trying to get Joshua Palmer in space at the top of the screen. DeAndre Carter is supposed to be the lead blocker on this play. And um, I just hate it. I just hate it because you can see this is number 35. Is that, um, that's Jalen Watson, right? Is that the guy who got the interception touchdown when the last time they played? Oh, but he just blows up DeAndre Carter. Joshua Palmer has no chance on this play. As you can see, I'm just going to play this in real time because it's just such an ugly play. I hate how they do this. Those little screens like that. It's just no chance for him. Top of the screen right here, Joshua Palmer. Again, going to do that beautiful get off to the outside. Plant explode to the inside. Doesn't have a ton of space right here, especially because of this inside defender, that linebacker. But right here, he breaks it off and is wide open in the middle of the field because Nick Bolton has to respect. He has to give depth because Stone Smart is crossing over. So he has to pick him up. Joshua Palmer, that leaves him wide open in the middle of the field. Not really wide open, but open in the middle of the field. There's a soft spot right here. Justin Herbert, though, as you can see, you probably already were looking at this, but he made up his mind to go to DeAndre Carter, who is open on this play, but that ball gets batted by number eight. That's something that has plagued Justin. And let's look at the release, if it's like a little side. I mean, it is a little, yeah, that is definitely actually a, a sidearm pass. You got to have that a little higher, a little more vertical, Justin, that release. It's going to get batted down. You can see the balls right here. But both Justin Herbert, or both Joshua Palmer and DeAndre Carter were open on this play. You can even make an argument that he's trying to get to Michael Bandy on the outside. And that could be a completed pass too. You got three guys open. So you can see Joshua Palmer at the bottom of the screen. This is just going to be a 10-yard curl. But Legereus Sneed, the Chiefs' best defensive back, is going to be on him on this play. You can see right there. He gets that jam right to the face. And you can see that first step for Joshua Palmer is on that left foot going to the inside rather than the outside, which he was so good at. But he gets jammed and is completely pushed off the spot right here. As you can see, doesn't he's not able to create any separation, man. And then that's a 50-50 ball. They each get one hand on it. So that's a, a total win for Legereus Sneed. But let's check this out, how he gets jammed right here. Legereus Sneed actually has a better get off. He's quicker to the spot than Joshua Palmer is. But what you want to see is Joshua Palmer, rather than being in that get off and then having that first left step, you want to have your first movement with your arms and swipe Legereus Sneed as he's getting that handoff because then it creates him being off balance. Rather than you right here, you can see he's already, his, his uh, torso is back. And then right here, that push, he then has to completely reestablish himself. Let's look at this in real speed. Boom, boom, right there. That's the one where he gets off balance. And then 50-50 ball, DB is going to win that every time. This is that same play that was a touchdown that I showed you earlier on in this game. It's going to be Richard Rodgers instead of Trey McKitty going to this side. Fake handoff to uh, Isaiah Spiller, I believe that is. And DeAndre Carter is now the man going deep over the middle of the field with Joshua Palmer running that same route deep. And you can see Juan Thornhill this time now is really overcompensating, going way deep, which means DeAndre Carter is now open over the middle of the field. Justin Herbert reads it perfectly. And honestly, you can see Joshua Palmer kind of has a step on this guy and he could beat Juan Thornhill with speed to the point of that ball. But Josh, uh, Justin Herbert just makes a good read, throws it to DeAndre Carter. That's what he was supposed to do. But, I mean, just look at this in real speed right here. Josh, uh, Joshua Palmer getting a great get off. also. Boom! 
creates a ton of separation. Oh, you could argue you throw that thing up there. That's a second tutty for Joshua Palmer on the same play. There's going to be a fancy little whip route for Keenan Allen. He's going to go like this, whoop, and then Joshua Palmer at the top of the screen just going to go up and in. This defender has to respect Keenan Allen because he demands so much attention on the field. Really great get off by Joshua Palmer, though right there and then it creates separation you can see Keenan Allen sucks that defender in so he has all this area Joshua Palmer sees it Justin Herbert recognizes it already has that throw off and Josh Palmer just sit in that soft spot of the zone beautiful play that's all you got to do buddy boom this get off by Joshua Palmer at the top of the screen is pretty weird you can see he's going to fake to the outside that step go to the outside and then boom plant right there two steps cut back in. He doesn't create a ton of separation on that play, but it's enough to make the catch and then sun that Chiefs defender into the ground and get more yardage after the catch. You'd like to see him right here. Just make a break to the sideline, Josh. But instead, he tries to make something happen, get a little fancy right there. Still a great play, making that man miss. Check this out in full speed so you can see that route. Look at that get off mm, right there. Bang and boom, get your popcorn ready. That's showtime. So I showed you that block where uh, Joshua Palmer got completely blown up off the spot. And then I showed you Legeria Sneak completely clogging him at the line of scrimmage. This one, a ton of contact right here. He's going to be running with the contact, but he responds well and actually makes that Chiefs defender fall. There's no flag on this play because they were both going at it. That's a clean play. And you can see Joshua Palmer would have been completely wide open had he kept running that route and Justin Herbert didn't get sacked on that play. Just something that you see in the All-22 film that you can't see during the game that is really impressive for Josh Palmer. Now this one's just going to be crossers. Joshua Palmer is going to have the deep crosser. Keenan Allen right here underneath. He's going to force the linebacker Nick Bolton. Where is he? Right here. To get up on him on this play, which leaves Joshua Palmer one-on-one -on -one with that deep safety, who's obviously going to be behind him. And let's just appreciate this throw off the back foot right here as Justin Herbert's getting pressured. You can see right to Joshua Palmer. Boom. Catch in the end zone. Perfectly placed ball. Easy route by Joshua Palmer. His easiest tutty of the year. So that's the tape, man. And yeah, I think it's fair to say that Josh Palmer had a breakout game for the Chargers. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Chargers LAFB YouTube page for the best Chargers content on YouTube. And I will see you guys next time.